active transport pumps do not allow molecules to go from an area of high concentration to low. Instead, they use energy to pump molecules in the opposite direction, going in from an area of low concentration to high. Now molecules would ordinarily go the opposite direction, so this is why this process requires the use of ATP energy to power the pump. There are a number of membrane proteins which allow active transport, including a family of proteins known as the ABC cassette proteins, where they are ATP binding. One of these is the CFTR protein, which is a chloride pump. This is a very important pump in that those who don't make the protein or in which the protein doesn't function normally can have the genetic disorder cystic fibrosis, which is one of the most common genetic disorders in the United States. If someone cannot pump chloride properly, then water does not move properly and this affects many secretions from the body. So this may affect secretions in the lungs and very thick mucus accumulate there. This would make it difficult to make digestive tract secretions. In many males, the reproductive tract secretions uh, during fetal development would be so thick that this would cause the vas deferens to deteriorate and simply not be present at the time of birth. So cystic fibrosis is a disorder which affects this channel which uh, uses ATP to pump chloride. There are a number of membrane transporters of the ABC transporter family which transport a great diversity of substances, whether this be uh, substances which bind to MHC proteins for the immune system allowing cells to recognize self or pigments in the eye or drugs from cells and thus relevant to the discussion of cancer and multi-drug resistance in cancer cells. One of the more important members of this family is the cholesterol efflux regulator protein or CERP. It is this protein which can pump uh, cholesterol from uh, cells and even uh, lipid plaques developing in blood vessels to HDL particles which then remove the cholesterol so that it can be eliminated from the body. So this allows the process of reverse cholesterol transport which then lowers the risk of heart disease. Individuals who do not make a functional CERP protein, they uh, are at a higher risk of heart disease.